you come to Skagit Valley and look at the tulips, you, you probably don't notice that there's 15,000 acres of, of weed in this valley. Because you're looking, you're looking past the wheat to the tulips. But actually grains have an important place in all of agriculture and they have historically or traditionally. Grains here are really good for the soil. Um, and that's an, it's an important thing for us in our soil stewardship and in taking care of this heavy clay soil that we farm. Since 1898, we've been breeding for white flour, high yield, and a color that matches the marketplace. It has to be a certain color red or a certain color white, and the flower has to be a brilliant white. We are finding varieties through the experiment station now that are, that are well suited for this climate in this area. And, uh, and, uh, and we're also discovering that there's uh, you know, a significant amount of terroir, I think, or, or uh, uh, local uh, nuance to the grains that we're producing and, and, we can, uh, uh, and we can capitalize on that and market on that, both from a brewing perspective and a baking perspective. When I was presented with those flowers from Steve, the, one of the first things that went through my mind was, oh my God, there's a local flavor, you know, and isn't that, isn't that amazing? I really do believe that there's a certain amount of terroir, you know, to where the grain was grown and also that there's a microbiological terroir to, to um, the ferments, the uh, uh, bacteria and other microbes that are used to, fer that are fermenting the flour, you know. Uh, those two things together really does uh, get a local flavor. I think when we talk local sustainable food systems, people are very interested. I just don't know how many of them have related that to grain. We've had a lot more interest I've seen probably and more so in the last year and a half where we get calls from customers and things saying, you know, I heard that you guys um, sell flour that's produced from grains growing, you know, within a hundred miles and stuff and I'm interested in knowing where I can find that. What we have that's unique in the breeding program is we have our own bread laboratory. And, and that is we in-house look at the functionality of, of the wheats that we grow. Or the, will it make a good bread or, or pastry or, or pizza dough or whatever? We see how it mills. We do a lot of stone milling in the lab. We then bring it into the lab, the milled flour, and we'll do rheological tests on the, the flour and the dough to see, again, what characteristics they would have for a miller and baker. Does it have strength or not? Can you mix it well? Will it rise as a baguette style? Or, or what type of bread would you be shooting for? We bring millers and bakers into the laboratory, bring farmers into the laboratory as well. The, the key to the bread lab is, um, is that we test our local grains for, for proper uses to add value for the baker and the miller. We also test samples from around the country. We're testing these, these wheats out of place to help these regional grain systems so we see value in bringing those back, bringing the grains back, bringing the milling back, uh, the whole process. So starting with the farmer always, it has to make sense. Basically keeping value right in that community. We, we, feel, we're a, we feel we're a part of that, we feel it's a very important movement.